So hello everyone, first of all, Arpit is finally back and today we'll be sharing part two of how we met and fell in love. So you know a little bit of background story, but... It sound like you're how you do that. Yeah! No, retake! Clarification, how Harnoor met Katie around one year, three months and seven days ago. So we're gonna go to Centennial Olympic Park today, let's go. Okay, a romantic walk through the park. Yes. So question one, do you want to read Miss Elizabeth? How we met. So basically, as you know, if you have seen the previous part of the video, so it was on a dating app. I was dating on the dating app for like six to nine months. I don't even remember now. It's been so, so long. So I think I have been an introvert most of my life. I was very nervous in front of girls since childhood. It's not that when you come out, you are subconsciously worried about talking to a girl of a different background, different culture. That was it. But I was nervous in front of any kind of girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But somehow I met her and it worked out. So you want to share the rest of the story? Um, yeah, I mean, he was my first dating app date. And a second date? Okay, no. First actual date, like going to meet up with someone. Uh -huh. I did talk to somebody else over the like FaceTime, which we also did before meeting in person. But my first time like meeting someone from online in real life. Um, and I, you know, wasn't quite sure what to expect, but I thought it was the only way to really meet people during the pandemic, you know. Yeah, so. irrespective if you're an introvert or not, that was the only way. Yeah. But there's much story beyond a dating app because, you know, on dating app, you can meet and get to know for a few days. But over a period of time, over a year, it is something you have to learn on your own. Mm -hmm. What's the scariest part of an interracial relationship? You want to start first? Well... I would say anything's like super scary about the other person. It's more just you're worried about each other's failures being accepting. Um, you know, I had no idea what his failure was like. I had no idea. I think I think I was the first. Oh, well, first girl to meet Nani, basically. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew <laughs> I was the going to be the first girl to meet Nani. So I, I didn't. I don't think either of us really knew exactly how she would react. So. And same for me. I didn't know how her dad will react either. But it just turned out well. I was like really surprised how welcoming everyone in your family were. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really awesome. Now, what are the things that we have in common? So reality is like, even though we don't have anything in common, when the first question I asked her when I was talking to her on a video call, what do you do? So what after college, what she started doing? And she said, yeah, I teach English to refugees. And then I said, I'm an engineer. And there was an awkward silence. <laughs> and then after that, she carried out the conversation because I was like, okay, is it over? Like, I don't, I don't have this to talk. So wow. I just I just started asking her, like, who, do, who does she teach? And it was really hard to carry a conversation when you had nothing in common. I personally sit on a computer every day and I have minimum number of meetings. And you? Oh, I, you know, constantly having meetings, teaching classes, things like that. How so. many? She has like three classes a day that she has to teach. But it somehow worked out. We gave a chance, I think, three to four dates. Then we realized that yeah we actually did have a lot in common yes especially um what i think we... the main thing is we have similar priorities and beliefs um so we're both very curious people and we're constantly trying to be our best selves and we both like to learn new things and all that and i think we both also really value our families and yeah, yeah we're both hard working but we also still like to have fun sometimes <laughs> <laughs> and the reality is even though we didn't have much in common the conversation the flow of conversation was so good the way she made it we were so comfortable being with each other it worked out yeah it just felt like we just kind of instantly became best friends yeah 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 it's platonic <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not just platonic yeah who asked the other person out first and who said i love you first i think who asked out first is obvious on a dating app it's always guys but who said I love you first is me. So basically, <laughs> I, all my friends, you know, share that ki I love you is a really big thing saying in US. In India, like sometimes movies, mein dekhte hai, Bollywood, mein dekhte hai, love at first sight. Pehli baari, like in first time you say I love you, it's completely okay. But my friend said that do not say till six months. Once you're sure that you're committing in a very, very 
serious. Serious relationship. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. That that was the point. So that's why I was thinking of saying in six months, but I couldn't resist and said after one month. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think you said it was like after I got along well with your family on Diwali, right? Yes, so it was after Diwali, like when she met my uncle and aunt. So that was the day. Yeah. yeah. What are our favorite and least favorite things about each other? Who want to go first? You or me? You go, you go first. <laughs> okay. okay, so my favorite part of her is that her communication skills, like, you know, how creative she is in poetry, the way she expresses her love in terms of words. This melts my heart. That's my favorite. Yeah. And worst thing about her is she is very messy like me. She loses her phone all the time, her car keys all the yeah. time, very unorganized. And yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that's fair. That's yeah, you, fair. You can take your revenge. Yeah, go ahead. So, <laughs> so my favorite thing about her, Noor, is as you can probably tell from the videos, he's just like a ray of sunshine. Like he's just so positive. And he makes everyone around him so happy and he just has such a great energy um, that it's so uplifting to be around him. And my least favorite thing is that, okay, I'm disorganized, you're disorganized, but you're also a little dirty. <laughs> Best trip together so far? You first. So for me, I would have to say Miami because it was the first time we went somewhere where neither of us had been. So it was truly an adventure for both of us. And I really liked the warmth and I really liked the people. Our landlord was amazing. And I also enjoyed the ethnically diverse culture there. And it seemed like a lot of young people and it was fun. It was beautiful and it was great. But I have to say a close second is New York because of little Punjab and just seeing his face light up when he saw all those Punjabis and Punjabi <laughs> restaurants and stores. However, I'm pretty sure that India will become my new favorite when we go. Oh, I hope India trip lives up to its hype. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope so. I'm pretty sure it will. It will. And also, I think my favorite trip together has been, I think all of them because it was my <laughs> first, first time. What? Everything is first time for me and first time traveling with a girl anywhere in the world so it was really fun oh. the idea of traveling i have been on school trips and i have traveled alone throughout my life so that's why it was really fun oh thank you yeah what are the things you like to do for fun together <laughs> you um go i have to go first okay i can go first so the best thing to have together or when do together when we are <laughs> together or Okay, so my point is the best thing we really enjoy doing together is traveling. I really like watching movies. I don't like watching TV series a lot, but I just started watching TV series only after graduating because I know, you know, when you start watching, you lose sleep, you know, <laughs> Netflix is a symbol of insomnia right now. So I think I like watching TV series now because in the plane you can watch and time just pass passes really quickly. What are, what are your favorite things? Yeah, um, I would say definitely traveling number one. He's a great travel partner. We're both very curious and have a lot of energy. So we're able to do a lot of things. And we also just really like to try new foods and learn about new cultures. So that's great. Yeah, I had never tried the variety of food options she showed me. Like, you know, I was just like Indian food khana ya fir, uh, like other basically Mexican, like bit chipotle. But now I am familiar with so many different kinds of food that I got to try by living with her. Yeah. Uh, so what's the most surprising fact about the other person? Most surprising? I thought she's a girl, she'll be very organized. <laughs> no, anyways, anyways, I think... That's fine. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. yeah. Um, so I think the most surprising fact about him that people don't know from watching the channel is he's actually very loving and romantic. So he loves to hold hands and he loves to hug and he loves to snuggle when we're watching TV and things like that. So he's just very shy about PDA, so that's why he doesn't show it on the channel. But yeah, yeah. on public places. Now the finale questions, most embarrassing moment in front of the other person. I personally am never embarrassed, so <laughs> you just answer. I don't think I've any I've had any embarrassing moments yet. I mean, you've definitely had some that I think one could argue might be embarrassing. Which one? Um... <laughs> Should I talk about this? No, just don't you tell don't that. Mind. Don't tell. Now the finale. How 
we think we are in love even though we didn't have much in common in the beginning yeah so i mean for me it just i always wanted to be with somebody who like would not only be my life partner but also my best friend and i just always want to spend time with him always enjoy talking to him and i feel like we just connect on so many levels yeah i feel the same i just believe that being with her the vibes of being with her are so amazing we don't spend a lot of time together monday to friday i don't get to talk to her a lot we just text or sometime call but we just get to meet on saturday or sunday but i'm always so excited to see that saturday when i get to see her so you know and also like i always wanted a partner who will not be like you know who will be career oriented who will not be like good morning good afternoon good evening every day and also like who will ask give me five reasons like pyar ka panchnama why you love me and ask again and again like those cheesy things so that's why like being around a career oriented person who helps me grow in my career grow in my personality i think a lot of people have also agreed that my personality in speaking in the way i behave has also changed and i've grown up a lot after meeting her so the whole idea overall just makes me feel we like makes me feel that we actually fell in love even though the foundation was like really really awkward <laughs> i don't think it was that awkward it might it might seem unexpected i yeah. think it's better yeah yeah so yeah that will be it so that will be it thank you so so much for watching there was no sponsor for this video but i'll say that cryptocurrency is currently down you can definitely check out my wallets in the description below the referral links thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>